<laughs> What's up, everybody? Today is the day. Welcome to Bros Live. Uh, I am your host, your first host, one of the co-hosts today on this ridiculous episode of Omni Bros Live, where uh, my boy uh, Lou is in the background dying. That's why I play that video. He's dying every time we do that video. It's the best. That's how you start off a giveaway Monday <laughs> here tonight, everybody. And this is going to bring out the rest of the people today. There's a special guest host as well. And you guys are going to be excited <laughs> that not only do we have Gio, Lou, but we also got the one and only Matt. Say what's yeah. up, everybody. Hey, guys. Everybody know where you're at. Take your shirts off, everybody. <laughs> All right. So uh, this uh, this hosting panel is almost as bald as uh, the, the cast of Fast 9 it's true. that I did see mm -hmm. this weekend, and it is basically uh, the Toretto's traveling all over the world playing with magnets. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Speaking of magnets, everybody, there's only one place for you guys to go to get all of your favorite Omnis, trade paperbacks, uh, collected editions, all that stuff. They are also the crazy sponsors of today's episode and the $50 gift card giveaway. So stay tuned. And that is InStockTrades.com. That's right. InStockTrades.com. Our number one go-to spot for Omnis, trade paperbacks, collected editions, all of your collected edition needs with uh, free shipping on orders over 50 bucks, which is super easy to do. Uh, the best packaging, excellent customer service. Uh, that's InStockTrades.com, everybody. So check them out Tuesdays at noon when new releases drop. I haven't even looked at the new releases yet this week, so that's going to be interesting. Cool. Uh, I'm out of here. Bye, guys. All Later, right. dude. So, <laughs> so today, everybody, we do got uh, hauls, raids, we got previews. We also got that $50 gift card giveaway for in stock trades, and we're going to be doing it a different way. Uh, we got to send all of your emails to Lou's email, uh, <laughs> which is, uh, <laughs> uh, but no, no, there's a different way. We're actually going to be doing it live through the chat, right, Gio? You said you yeah, um, developed some new hack to do this. Yeah, I noticed that our friend Omar was live, and I looked at the stream, and I remembered that, yeah, StreamYard has a giveaway tool. I completely forgot about it, so I am ripping off that fool's idea, and I'm using this, the giveaway tool for the gift card giveaway, so there's no need to write emails. There's no need to harass the uh, Omni, Omni Bros live email. Jess isn't here, so he doesn't have to screen all of that. So we can just do the giveaway here. And uh, what is going to happen is that uh, at the end of the stream, we're going to pick a winner. However, uh, right now, all you have to do to enter, just enter one time. If you spam multiple comments, it's not going to matter. It's only going to select one comment from you guys. So Suckers. there's no point. Yeah. So you're going to write in the chat, uh, hashtag, IST gift card. Let me write it here on a banner just in case. Uh, where, where do I write the banner? I got it. Can you write it for me? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so hashtag... you write hashtag IST gift card. And at the end, we're going to share the screen and do the giveaway and pick out a winner. Yeah, just like Shorty Larson did. Everybody's already doing it. Just write that, and at the end, the little magical trolls on the internet will work their magic and select a winner. That simple, that easy. Uh, you can keep writing just one time up until the end of the stream when we do the giveaway. Look at cool. all these people. They're ready for it. Yeah. That's what happens. You, got, you get here early. You get entered into the giveaway early. So um, I'm going to delete that guy's comment. Uh, chat on me, dog. You're, you, you get deleted. You get deleted, Justin. Uh, you get deleted. Everybody gets deleted. Nobody's going to win the card tonight. <laughs> Dude, uh, it's a, it's a, well, we'll look at the preview. There's some interesting stuff this week on, on previews. Um, yeah. But Matt, dude, our, our special guest. Let's give Matt 
a shout out. Matt, what have you been up well, to, man? What's been going on? Uh, not much, man. Just, you know, been working out a bunch, trying to catch up on reading the reading berserk, uh, which has been great. And that's pretty much been it. Uh, how far are you in berserk? Uh, I finished all the hard covers. So I think that's volume 21. I just Ooh, finished the tower nice. of conviction. So yeah, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm all the way in. I'm all the way in. <laughs> that's Dude, awesome. I, 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 oh, oh man, I'm gonna spoil it. But uh, what was the whole uh, eclipse like for you? Oh, that was the, that yeah. was pretty epic. That was pretty epic. I, <laughs> I didn't I didn't really love it at first. Like the first book, I was like, I don't know if this is for me. Like the first three volumes, I'm like, this is kind of. I didn't get it really, and then it got into the golden age arc. And I'm like, I couldn't put it down. I was just nonstop. Like it was, it's great. Yeah, you get to that first hardcover, and you're in. Like. Mm -hmm. that's the uh that's kind of the barrier you got to get through and then you just open up all the rewards because i remember yeah. the same thing happened to me uh uh super chat real quick uh super chat to, uh, thank you lionheart for ten dollars thank you gabe let's show the new guy how we get down <laughs> um, i've been on before i'm not entirely new but it has scared. been it has it's been, been years it's been there was a, a time that we had a uh, west coast omni bros yeah and that's yeah. how we got Omar into it all. I remember that. That's how we got, mm -hmm. the whole, got Omar into the whole thing. Special appearance so. by Nick for a minute there. Yep. yep. Uh, oh, yeah. So for the super chat. Oh, shit. <laughs> and we all thank you, Lionheart. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for the French fry super chat, Mr. Lionheart. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know what's up. All right. So, yeah, don't forget, everybody. Uh, hashtag IST gift card. Get your entry in. So, it's going to be a lot easier. We have to. So far. Us. We, get to be, we get to be balls out lazy about this. So, thank yeah, you. Yeah. So far, we have 44 entries. Let's see if we can raise That's that it? number. We got to get mm -hmm. to like 1,000. 1,000 or no giveaway. <laughs> Make new accounts <clears throat> just so you can get to a thousand. So Matt, were you ready for the eclipse when you when you read that arc? No, not at okay. all. No, not at no. all. No way, dude. You got to get at, in. You got to get at, that first volume, and you're in for life. That's I'm it. at the point where like I don't know if I want to wait for each hardcover to get out, or if I want to try to track them down digitally, get the paperbacks. I don't know if I can wait like another couple months for the next hardcover, and then every three, yeah. I yeah, it's pretty great. The next one is in uh, August. I think. That's what, yeah. And then yeah. November. So it's a long wait. Yeah. I think I might just bite the bullet and try to pick them up digitally for there's a sale or something and then just wait yeah. for the hardcovers. Oh, right. uh, yeah. I was going to suggest um, the bundle sales at Write Stuff, but it's going to be the smaller edition. So, yeah. Just have Geo read it to you. <laughs> I can read it to you. Yeah, I can yeah. do all the accents and stuff. Yeah, there you go. Get his radio voice on. He can just read it to you. <laughs> I want to hear you. Uh, are you caught up? Are you all the way caught up? Yeah, I've read everything up to okay. volume forty. Yep. So Is it? now that he's passed on and he and he's a part of the uh, uh, the, the universe now. Yeah, shout out to him. Ooh, nice. nice. I didn't know there was a Zoke shirt. shirt, dude. Sweet. Uh, what, what's what's the last? Because the last the last volume came out a while ago, right? His last little like chapter that he did. I because uh -oh. I was reading online that I heard it's actually not a terrible place where it could end off. Uh, a major plot point that I'm not going to spoil gets resolved, <laughs> and you're content because it's finally over. There's still something else that needs to happen, and it's it was on its way to building that uh, final act, uh, but it's. Yeah, it's not a bad way to end things, considering, but I, uh, it sucks. I think, because he left notes behind, I think what, what I would have done is I'd gather all the notes and maybe do like a novel or something with select illustrations, uh, mm -hmm. and that way fans can imagine what could have been or, or the basic outline, or they could just get the... Uh, intern staff that was training under Muta to draw the following chapters. I don't know. Because they do a fantastic job. He trained those guys <laughs> to basically imitate his art style. It's not the same thing. It will never be the same thing, but it's very similar. So I, I don't mind if they continue it. So there might be there seems to be a good strong possibility that we can it can actually end appropriately or at least mm. somewhat how he wanted it to. Yeah, it depends on what the family wants to do and the, the 
magazine and all that stuff. But if, if they wanted to, they could, and we could get some sort of ending eventually. I, I, I could see them kind of wheel of timing this where he mm -hmm. maybe had somebody lined up or somebody on his staff is like, look, we have the pretty strong outline for how we wanted to wrap this up. Yeah, we're going to have to kind of speed it up, but let's head in that direction and let's close the story out for him. Yeah. Uh, the new the new book that they were working on was, uh, let me, I keep forgetting the name. Um, let me search here real quick. Uh, Muta. Uh, Duranki, which is based on Babylonian mythology and, and all that stuff. If you look for the art on that book, it's straight up Muta. He helped uh, do a couple splash pages, key uh, chapters and like illustrations, but most of the work was done by his staff. Let me show you real quick what that art looks like. Uh, Duranki, yeah, that, that should work. Let me share the screen here. Um, yeah. So oh, I, don't yeah know, I don't him. know if you can see it. That's um, him all the way. Yeah. If you could, I, I mean, I don't mind. If you can follow and, and do a couple more chapters to wrap things up in a good way with that art style, um, I'd read it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I just want to see the ending of it. That works, you know. That's cute enough. Look at all those. I think they said that in a few months they were going to address what the future of the series is. Um, at least the publisher announced that. They're like, hey, in a few months, once all this dies down, we'll, we'll come out and we'll address what we're going to do. Uh, next to Matt John has a good point. Uh, Berserk is such a cash cow that I would be shocked if only for that reason, if they didn't decide to posthumously finish it out. Yeah. Yeah. It sells. <laughs> the manga, the statues, all that stuff. It sells a lot. Oh, God, those statues, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're out of my price range. I'm not rich enough for that. Um, same, same, but there's some there's some good ones. What I hate is that there's no middle point. Like, there's no budget uh, statues like sixty dollars or a hundred bucks. No, it's like six hundred and then a thousand. I'm like, no, I can't do that. Yeah. If, if we had like Van Presto stuff where that's smaller scale, I'd buy that stuff. But there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing somebody, for the common man. <laughs> something like, yeah, the PVC like prosciutto yeah. statues or something like that. I'd, I'd get a couple of those. I'm not going to spend eighteen hundred dollars on the statue. Or, or something from like Iron Studios. They put out pretty affordable, like smaller scale. Yeah. Uh, Chris like wants the Figma Berserker armor. The Figma ones are out of stock, and the people are kind of scalping it online. So, uh, Ooh, good luck. Photo, on photo, photos, please. Anybody's got it? Which of the uh, Figma? The, the Figma. Oh, that, that one just check. that one just came out too. I think. Yeah, came out like 2019, I think, or mm -hmm. 2020. I'm not too sure. Um, the figmas are nice, but uh, they can be a bitch to handle because they're so delicate. I mean, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, it, it these used to be uh, yeah, it's out of stock everywhere, but they used to be around the sixty to seventy dollar range. Uh, if you bought it from like Amiami, for example, but if you look on eBay, it's like a hundred, a hundred twenty. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> but it looks badass. Wow, that I do, is I clean, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, more of those, please. How much were those? You said one hundred and twenty on eBay and stuff like. And oh, sites I mean, like that? just yeah. like, just say like MSRP. MSRP, I think uh, sixty to eighty bucks. Yeah, see more of that. See, That's if I knew about that, I would have grabbed those. I, I'm that. I just don't travel those kinds of circles. But I tell you what, you got in that. You check Ami Ami and see, because uh, even though they're out of stock, you can still see the retail price. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not more stuff. Like, I'm surprised there's not like posters and like more shirts and statues and toys and like, I mean, like Dragon Ball Z and like Naruto and all those things got 
get so much. I mean, I get maybe he might have been too busy to deal with the licensing side of things or something. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. He always seemed to be like sick. That kind of, you know, was, was part of his demise. It seemed like he was always sick and screwed up. Uh, here, let me share one more time. We're going to Ami Ami, uh, which you can buy all the cool Japanese merch uh, for cheap. They ship worldwide. If you don't know, yeah, that Golden Age arc one looks pretty dope. Oh, that one, yeah. That's that's the stuff I like when he was kind of you know getting in with Griffin and and the rest of the group and look. Know. This was this was released. Uh, it's on pre. It was available for pre order, but it closed. You can't get it anymore. You got to wait until it comes out. But it was selling for fifty two dollars. And if you try to get that over here. Say like uh, BBTS, for example, uh, it is on BBTS is seventy five dollars. That's not too bad. That's not too yeah. bad. That, that's still cool. That's still not twenty thousand dollars for a statue. Oh yeah, and you can you know? pose them and do all kinds of groovy things with it. Here's the Berserker armor. I think yeah. this was around. Yeah, just a little bit more. Let's see. I'm not good at math. Wow. It's at 80 bucks. That's clean. <laughs> and you get Shirky as a bonus. She's oh. one of my favorite characters. <laughs> <laughs> That's clean. Was that a Zoid down there? Where? I think I was on. Uh, I'll go back. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because I, oh, I typed Berserk. That's why. <laughs> oh, okay. And here's uh, one of those statues that we're talking about. Gosh. This thing is like wow. fifteen hundred or something like that, and it's like holy crap! I can see it. I can see the value in it and, and and it being worth it. But it's one of those things where, like, if you got her, you have to get the other like three uh, creatures as well. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. The whole the whole prime one line, and they're all one third scale. That's that scale's too big. One third's yeah. huge. I don't have any room for that either. So like, yeah. Nah. I mean, God bless. If you can afford it and get it and enjoy it, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, my power to you. If you yeah. Oh. It's beautiful. <laughs> that is beautiful, man. Yeah, so, I, uh, I dropped off after uh, Golden Age. I need to come back to it. but uh, Yes, you do. You need to read that Conviction arc and the uh, Millennium Falcon arc. <laughs> I, I've been told. I've been told. Yeah. I just I, I don't know if it'll hit the same highs because Golden Age is – so god so good it, it so dips good. a little after right after because it's such an emotional story arc but what comes yeah. after i i love it especially when you get to meet to um uh, yeah. you meet isidro and and serpico and shirky and mm -hmm. all these wonderful characters mm -hmm. uh, that i recommend it on that alone because it yeah. goes more into the fantasy realm instead of the dark fantasy stuff i uh, yeah. i stopped reading after the uh, the eclipse arc just because, like, that's kind of just where I kind of fell off a little bit, and I kind of ran out of time reading that stuff. But like, I liked it even afterwards, where they kind of got to that little town where like the flesh eating fairies are kind of invading this town, eating little mm -hmm. kids and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't care for that arc. The flesh, the fairy thing, it really didn't do anything for me. That that's kind of where I dropped off. The yeah. next one's the Tower of Conviction. That's that's a really good one. I'm just is it Casa? That's my girl. All right. Uh okay, so ninety-one watching, twenty-two likes. We gotta make we gotta make a change here, folks. What's going so on? So far <laughs> we have fifty-four entries. So keep All it right. up, guys. If That's you're new thing. here, if you yeah. just popped in, because we're almost at a hundred people right now, the IST gift card giveaway is a little bit different. Okay. Uh it's you gotta type in the chat IST gift card, hashtag IST gift card, and that's how you get entered in. It's all done on screen. There's no email. You don't have to write an email, or mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about just like putting in some other rules behind it. You know, <laughs> I don't like, want people complaining. Oh, it's rigged. It's yeah. Like, it's totally random. Yeah. <clears throat> if it was so, rigged, it, it, it'd be going to one of us every time. But uh, that's, only yes. happened, that's only happened 18 times. <laughs> uh, what about hauls? You guys haul anything? Um. Uh, I did, but I, I have to like. I'm, I, I can't show it here. I have to like. I have to do something different, so somebody else can go up first. Can you, can, <laughs> can you do the gate cam like I did with the phone? That's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to pull out my phone and show awesome. you guys what's up. I already I know what it is. 
I don't get too many books at all, really, anymore. I'm kind of like toned down by buying a lot, but I did pick a. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. So, kind of, there we go. God nice. loves, man kills. Yeah, I'm kind of going through a lot of my collection, just trying. I, mean, I, I offloaded a couple big books this past week. Like I think the Avengers and some other stuff, just, I don't know. It's becoming a little cumbersome. And I'm not necessarily getting out of the hobby, but I'm being more selective on what I pick up. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, space is limited. <laughs> I'm only yeah. focusing on on like indies and, and manga and stuff like that. But I feel you. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, what, are you reading anything, Matt? Uh, just got this little Hellboy mug too. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. So, um, no, really, just been reading Berserk. That was that was about it. And I'm all caught up now, so I have to find something else to to pick up. Or. Pick up the other volumes, rather. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. <clears throat> um, I guess I'll go next. Uh, I have not hauled anything, but I have been reading uh, quite a bit over the past few days. Um, I'm going to start with what I can only describe what Gabe probably drew in his high school notebook, uh, Chainsaw Man. Did he? Oh, so Hell I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, Chainsaw Man! Where have you been all my life? Um, dude, Did you see that the manga that they put out the manga or not the manga? The anime trailer. The anime trailer is what got me to start reading it this past week because I saw that and I was like, I have to jump on this right away, like right away. Um, Chainsaw Man, there's nothing deep going on here. It is what it is. It's a guy that just you wait. I'm early. I'm still early on, admittingly. Yeah. Um, it's a guy that basically turns into, like, he's got a bunch of chainsaws that pop out of his hands and his head, and he slays monsters and demons. It, that's, that's the whole premise so far. Um. It's no Dick Punch Island, but. But he, yeah. he does kick some people there, some, uh, repeatedly throughout, yeah. throughout so far. Um, it's so much fun. Honestly, it's, it's a lot of fun. What's the, uh, I'm, I don't have it in front of me right now. Who's the author? Of it, Geo, you know before me. Uh, Fujimoto, he's the one that did Fire Punch, which is also kind of crazy and chaotic that a lot of people like. Right. So Fujimoto, this is so far this is peak B movie '80s hobo with a shotgun style storytelling. Like this is if you've seen trauma films, if you've seen all those classic B movies, this is what this is. Um, at least so far. And I'm loving every single moment of it. It mixes all the stuff that I love where you've got elements of exploitation films, um, horror, uh, just everything that I love wrapped up in one nice little bow. And I can't wait. I, I really, really need to keep reading it and I can't put it down. I'm about a, 10 chapters in. It's a really fast read. Once you it get is. going, you're, you're not going to stop. It's only 97 chapters. So. Right. And I was surprised at that. It's 97 chapters and it's done. It's already done. But I think they're coming out with a sequel series or a spinoff or something mm -hmm. along the lines. Working. Sequel. Uh, like uh, two years later in the timeline or something. So, um, like I said, he joins an organization, and that's where I'm at so far. But the story is done in such a fun way that I can put some hopes on it. And I honestly can't wait to keep reading more. I need, I need to read the next chapter. And I just started to say, and I can see myself in the next one just blowing through every single thing that's available for it. Is Lou breaking up, or is that just me? No, he's uh, breaking up. He's okay. breaking up a little bit. It's a little frozen. It's a little Hello. fucked. Yeah. Uh, you might need to restart or hop in, hop out. Yeah. Um, Give it a shot. All right. So while we do that, uh, we'll wait for Lou to come back in. Sorry, bro. Uh, thoughts and prayers on your, uh, your internet connection there. <laughs> on your uh, reboot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me hop out real fast, and I'll hop back in. I'll show you guys my, my, my haul. Yeah. Yep. Go for it. <laughs> All right. So while everybody does that, uh, I can show you my book real quick. Uh, let's see if we get uh, Comics Guide back. You good? 
Uh, image is good, but there's no audio. I mute, he's muted, I think. Me there. there you go. I can hear you, but it's a little pixelated. All right. Uh, we, so give me a second. All right. How do I turn the stupid camera around on this thing? Uh, on the uh, stream, on StreamYard, before you enter on the camera option or the settings, it should let you pick the other. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Uh, on StreamYard, hit uh, leave and click on the video settings and then you uh, pick the uh, front camera, back camera, whatever it is. Um, so I showed this off, uh, yesterday on the Sunday stream, but that's the only book I got, uh, right here. I got, oh, nice. uh, I got you, Dave. I got, uh, Xenozoic from Mark Schultz. Really excited about this. I love, love this book <clears throat> and the aesthetic and the dinosaurs and what is essentially Cadillacs and dinosaurs. If you played that game. Uh, this really pulpy action adventure stuff with great art. So that's the only book I got. Love it, love it, love it. Very cool. All right, Drew. I still right. Your... How's that? That better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, much better. <laughs> Check it out, Lou. I got uh, Xenozoic. Nice. With man. all the wonderful dinos. Um, the art on that is gorgeous. Yeah. Check this out. It's all black and white. Yeah. Haven't started reading, but I'm going to do that soon. Uh, hopefully, I'm not showing anything risque. <laughs> These are naked people somewhere. Uh, but it looks really badass. <laughs> yep. Did we lose Gabe? He's trying to set up his uh, Gabe cam. Oh, yes, okay. Gabe cam. <laughs> this is my favorite illustration from the book. I love that. That Hydra looking serpent monster. That's yeah. pretty badass. Uh, uh, Gabe, we good? Hmm? I'm going to add him to stream. Uh, sure. Keep going. Get, get... Sorry. <laughs> All right. So sorry about that. <clears throat> so yeah, um, like I was saying Chainsaw Man, definitely recommend it. It's a huge pickup. Uh, if you are into stuff like that, then I can't imagine you not enjoying it. Uh, the next thing I read was Strange Adventures by Tom King, Mitch Gerard, and Doc Shaner, I believe, does the art. Yeah. Um, we, I talked about this, I think, with Jess on Thursday. Uh, it's only 10 issues in. I've read all 10 issues uh, out of 12 so far. Really, really solid read. I was mixed on Tom King after his Batman run. Um, this is probably, for me, his best work since Mr. Miracle. Um, there's something about, awesome. I think, Tom, Tom King, when you give him just 12 issues, he really does a good job on it. <clears throat> Following, um, uh, so Strange Adventures basically centers around a, the pulp character of Strange. So he, if you've never read anything about the character, he's pretty simple. It, it, this is a great jumping off point. You don't need to know anything about it. And basically what it ha what it deals with is he's a superhero that he gets teleported because of what's called a Zeta Beam to this planet. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning of the story, he's basically written his memoir saying, okay, this is basically what happened in my life. This is how all, all of these amazing things went on this planet. And at the beginning of the story, he, a fan comes up to him at a book signing and says, yeah, what you're saying is complete bullshit. What you wrote in this book is not true. And you are a war criminal. A few days later, that guy ends up dead. Uh, so he ends up being investigated by, initially he goes to Batman and he's like, I want you to investigate me to clear my name. Batman basically says, I'm not doing it because I'm too close to this. So you end up getting Mr. Terrific that investigates him. And basically the crux of the whole story is it flashes between what actually happened on that planet 
and the controversy involving him on Earth while that invading force that was on the planet in the past is coming to Earth. Doc Shaner, man, he is on fire in this book. Just lovely artwork all the way through. He crushes every single page. And I love Mitch Gerard's artwork. Um, I thought he was great in in <clears throat> Mr. Miracle. But I think he's being outshun. I think that's the right word. Um, here, outshined here, um, mm-hmm. by Doc Shaner a lot. And it's the talk is amazing. I love he's his art. So good. Yep. He is so good in this book. It's it's crazy. He Doc Shaner's kind of got that um would you say it's almost like a Bruce Tim style almost? Bruce Tim and, and a little bit of um cook thrown in the mix with the right. retro. I, I like his art a lot. I do, I do too. I do too. He's definitely got that Darwin Cook, Bruce Tim art style. So if you are a fan of Batman the Animated Series or Darwin Cook's work, I think this is a wonderful pickup. It's got a great hook so far. I'm one, I'm, I hope Tom King sticks the landing to this. I don't think he'll miss because he tends to stick the landing on all these kind of maxi 12 issue series that he puts out. Um, so I'm expecting uh, good things. Uh, it's only two more issues and it's been 10 issues so far. I, yeah. I, I wholeheartedly think this is a pickup for anybody out there that's reading it. Uh, last thing that I've read this past week was, um, I, well, I'll just fast forward through a few things. Venom, I read the the conclusion of Donny Kate's Venom series. Great stuff. Closes it out wonderfully. Sets up a lot of interesting things that I'm wondering how they're going to pay off. Uh, brings back certain characters. And really, he just does what every Venom writer does or every superhero writer does. He puts the toys Back in the pl- uh, back in the box in certain ways, and I'm excited to see who takes over next and what they do with the characters. Uh, Robin, written by uh, what's his name, James, who just wrote Flash. Oh Josh God. Williamson. Joshua Williamson. Thank you. Robin, William, by, uh, written by Joshua Williamson. Uh, three issues are out already. Fun little series. Uh, nothing too crazy so far. But Damian Wayne basically finds out that there's this. Lazarus, uh, Lazarus tournament where he goes and you can die on the tournament, but you get resurrected and you get three chances at it. Uh-huh. If you die after those three deaths, your soul basically stays on the island. And he quickly finds out he gets his ass kicked pretty quickly. So kind of humbles him a little bit so far. But uh, Joshua Williamson, he really seems like he has a pretty strong handle so far on Damien as a character. It's a fun read. It's nothing groundbreaking. Um, we're only three issues in. But if you're a fan of Joshua Williamson, he's a solid writer. He's, you know, not, not exactly a huge, like, mega star writer or anything like that. But he writes fun stories. So I'm expecting something pretty good out of this. And I'm excited to see where it goes. Nice. Um, quick question before we go to the Gabe cam or Mat- Matrix Gabe. Uh, Gio, there are 11 volumes of Chainsaw Man, right? Yes, 11 volumes. Uh, somebody earlier today wrote the final volume 11 will be released in June 2022 unless they fast track the last number of volumes. I don't know. Maybe they could do that. But then again, um, Viz likes to take their sweet time with stuff like that. <laughs> like Beastars, <laughs> we're still uh, on volume 12 out of 22. Like, come on. I mean, the series <laughs> is already over. Hurry it up. It, it, uh, all right. So, a lot of those already. Um, Aren't a lot of those sold out? Those uh, those first few volumes, like they're are hard to get a hold of, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, a good portion of it is out of stock. Although volume one recently came back to different stores because uh, I did see it uh, in stock in a few places. Mm. So uh, you got to be patient. Uh, all right, we're uh, Matrix Gabe left. Uh, all right, here we go. There we go. All right. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, perfect. Good? All right. So this is what I got. I got the Marvel versus Capcom uh, one up arcade cabinet. Oh, with the that stool. Amazing. Yeah, it comes with the stool too. Look at this thing. That's badass right there. Yeah. Wow. That kind of makes the whole deal. I got that's. I get to sit on all their faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this has like. So this, what, what games does this have? This has so many games. It's like five different games. So it's 
uh, Marvel Super Heroes, X Men vs. Street Fighter, uh, Gem Wars, yep. uh, Marvel vs. Street Fighter, and then Marvel vs. Capcom. So it's all the like the some of the best fighting games. That's and sick. Yeah, this thing is nuts, dude. Dude, my kids love it too, and that's just, that's pretty exciting that they actually got into this too. So, awesome. I, I like the it has a little light up uh, display here in the front. I gotta fight Cyclops versus Cyclops. Whack ass Cyclops, whack ass Cyclops. So there's two eyes instead of one Cyclops. All right, let's see how you wow. do with one hand. Can I just do some power moves? All right, there you go, Wolverine in the brown suit. I love that sprite work. That that art is just so cool to me. I love it. Like I don't play a lot of fighters, uh, modern fighters, but I always love going back to the to the sixteen uh, bit era and all that stuff. Oh, these are the best fighters for me. This yep. is before they came in, like super complicated and, and things like that. So, yep. Who is your favorite character to play as? Oh, I love playing like I've been playing mostly like the Capcom game, the uh, or the Marvel superhero ones, and that's really fun because you get like Spider Man's probably one of my favorites. Uh, you get like Black Heart. There's so many cool characters in here, you know. I like to use uh, Chun Li and uh, Hulk and Spider Man, or no Wolverine. I like using Wolverine. That uh, Berserker Barrage. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is. I used to pump so many quarters into these machines, dude. Same. And I, I like that the marquee has uh, the move sets for everybody. Yeah, that's the best. Right? That, that that's really helpful. And it's only like the basic move sets too. Because I looked online, there's a lot more like fancy moves that are out there too. So mm -hmm. there's still some research that's involved. Um, I think it's a. Uh, is it Marvel vs. Capcom? I forgot which one. But one of them, the yeah, it's Marvel vs. Capcom, where the main boss is Onslaught of all people. Oh, I got yeah. wrecked. Yep. Yep. He's on there. So, that's a uh, this bad boy is my hole. An amazing hole. So, yeah. Yeah. Turn that off for now. <laughs> All right, we're gonna switch All over right. to uh, regular Gabe Cam. Yeah, I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, and we're back. I've held off on those one-up arcades, man, but they keep putting ones out all the time. They're they're tempting. You got Turtles, you turtles in time. Turtles in time. Yep. Oh gosh. Uh, turtles in time. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Killer Instinct. Yeah. Supposedly, there's a Tron one coming out soon, which is really <laughs> wacky looking, uh, but still fun. The Simpsons arcade looks amazing. I wish I yes. had space for that. I would get the Simpsons one. Yes, absolutely on the Simpsons one. For sure. <laughs> yep, yep. Do you guys have uh, love... arcades around where you are? Because that's a big thing uh, mm -hmm. here in, or well, in Orlando and in Miami. Arcades are huge, where you just yep. pay cover, and then you can come in, you can play as many games as you want um inside inside the place and the machines are rigged so you, it's not like you're pumping in quarters you can just keep playing yeah we got something like that around here uh gabriel most of them are between the 400 to 600 dollar range i know it's pricey but compared to a, an original cab which is like thousands of dollars i'll take it some get clearanced out too you just got to keep an eye out for deals yeah every once yeah. in a while Use BrickSeek and check out the Arcade One Up Reddit subreddit. Mm -hmm. uh, they post deals all the time when people find them. That's how I got mine uh, a long time ago. Got it for like seventy-five bucks or something like that. So yeah, they're constantly clearing stuff out because Walmart ain't got room for every single one of them. <laughs> so they gotta clear those out. So be on the lookout, especially at Walmart. Yep. <laughs> uh, Arcade One Pinball. I want one, and don't tell anybody, but I want to mod it because there's a lot of boards that you can add which are amazing and have not been licensed yet like the uh stern pinball stuff and whatnot i i really want one of those machines mm -hmm. my favorite was always the uh, terminator pinball oh that was a good one yeah that you can mod into one of the arcade one of pinballs and it looks fantastic i i, I want to mm -hmm. do that you stick a, a pc under there and you run a whole lot of uh, pinball tables. 
<laughs> Were, yep. uh, are you a big pinball guy, Gio? I love pinball. I just okay. uh, they're so expensive. You can't you can't buy them. I really like saying this because there's a lot of people out there that are very um, annoying when it comes to that stuff, and they're like, "Oh, you got to play the original. I don't want this toy." Well, newsflash: nobody has like three thousand dollars to spend on a pinball machine, <laughs> and if you can buy one for five hundred bucks, uh, let them have it. Let them enjoy it. I, I, I have nobody here sells uh, pinball machines, and if they do, I saw one recently on a uh, Facebook Marketplace for like three thousand five hundred bucks or something like that. I don't know; it's crazy, but I, I love pinballs. Oh, death rattle! I buy arcade mods and mod them to play over fifteen thousand games. Yeah, dude, it's insane. You can get so much in there. Uh, do the aliens game that'll be a day one buy for me aliens uh you can get you can mod it with a switch a nintendo switch and play pinball fx3 and that has a board for aliens and um alien versus predator which plays great if you want to try that Uh, Meg Havoc, thank you for joining. Gabe, uh, sorry, you were <laughs> muted. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's all good. I was going to say, I want to get a couple more of those things because you can see I kind of have like this empty loft. So I want to turn it into like a small arcade. Like you that need to get the X Men is going gonna, is gonna to have to happen, I think. Yep. You need to get the Marvel pinball to match with the Marvel uh, versus Capcom arcade. I just usually had Marvel versus Capcom 2 on it because it has cable. And that is the dream. Dope. Yeah, <laughs> we're still waiting for that to get ported into any system. I mean, it was on the uh, PlayStation Two, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, and that was it. We never saw it again. Yeah, that was like one of the most expensive PS Two games. Like that was like like fifteen years ago. It was still like a two hundred dollar game. It was like impossible to find. I want to take yep. you for a ride. <laughs> and then they and three took forever to come out. You know, they they never. Three was just, I didn't like it. Two was the best by far. Yeah. Yeah, the Turtles one too, Gerard. Yeah, that Turtles one's great. Uh, it has Turtles and Time on it and the original Turtles arcade. Uh, the Simpsons one looked really cool. Killer mm -hmm. Instinct. Like, they're really bringing out, like, the big hits for that stuff. I want a Terminator one that has the, the, the machine gun on it. If anybody remembers that game from the arcade. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck those hoverboard letter levels, though, for Turtles in Time. Oh, those are the best. Those are so fun. I hate They're, they're fun, but they're, yeah, they're, they're hard. <laughs> uh, also, a reminder, uh, we have 74 entries on our gift card giveaway, so be sure to type, if you're watching now, hashtag IST gift card. Unfortunately, this is live only, so the people watching later, sorry, you can't participate on this, but we do it every... Uh, at, at the end of every month, so come back next time so you yeah. can try and win. <laughs> How do we have 106 viewers but only like 70 entries? So this is good for all around the world. It isn't just like in the U.S. and Canada or anything like that. It's good for all over the world. It's a $50 credit to InStockTrades.com. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get like a free omnibus or something else that's coming out this week or it doesn't even have to be used right away, you could save it up for down the road and something big crazy comes out it's 50 bucks you're basically a, saying i don't want free 50 dollars. that's stupid there's a really cool book that's coming out tomorrow that yes. i know you want gabe and i'm yes. gonna get it too and they just solicited volume two yep <laughs> so i think we know what we're talking about man i'm ready for it let's uh let's do the it. previews Unless oh. you want to, have you read anything? Uh, game? I've been too busy playing uh, video games on that arcade machine. Uh, nice, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, I've been playing that a lot. Uh, I've been trying to. Geo, you saw you, you saw my post on Instagram. Uh, uh, that app that I found called Whatnot. I signed up and everything. It looks. Yeah, awesome. I saw. It. That's cool, especially because. Uh, okay, so for those of you who just like, what are you guys talking about? So there's this new kind of app that came out for like this new kind of community. It's not like a social media community thing, but it's an app called Whatnot. Whatnot. And what it is, is it's basically live sales 
Uh, so if anybody's ever watched like live sales, live claim sales, live auctions mm -hmm. on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, places like that, this is another place that does it, but it is purely just live streams of people selling stuff. Uh, so it's really good if you want to buy comic books, uh, Funko Pop, video games, like, like anything. You can kind of sort it and filter it through to what your, your interests are. So I signed up and then I also filled out an application to be a seller. So uh, eventually I'll be on there selling comic books, live sales. If you guys ever watched me on Torpedo when I was a part of Torpedo Comics and when I started their live sales on Instagram, uh, I'll be doing that through whatnot, comic books, omnis, trade paperbacks, uh, all that kind of cool stuff. So, um, it's, uh, it's under Matrix Gabe, if you guys want to follow me. Matrix Gabe, uh, then follow me on Instagram, too, because when I start doing the selling, I'll start uh, posting what I'm going to sell on Instagram. So you guys could have an idea, but I will be selling a bunch of omnibuses and trade paperbacks and uh, some not major keys, like these big CGCs behind me here. Those aren't going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> uh, no, no. Yeah. But I do have a lot of like cool like key books and stuff like that that I'll be throwing yeah. up uh, to try and turn into bigger books. You know, that's what you do. So even mm -hmm. if you want to be a seller, it's cool because unlike eBay, uh, this is a it's a live selling thing. So it, they, I think they charge you like 3% as opposed to eBay, who charges like, you know, with eBay and PayPal fees is somewhere around like 20% plus. Uh, it's really fun because uh, when you're bidding, you can see the bids happening. And the bids are, the live auctions are like a minute, two minutes, whatever you said that. So it's really fat, fast paced, like, you know, people uh, bidding. And it's no last second sniping. If somebody puts in a bid at the last second, it adds, it adds time to the timer. So you don't have to worry about getting like outbid at the last second. It basically goes to who wants it the most. So it, it's really kind of cool and fun that way. Uh, a lot of cool seller features and stuff like that too. So it's called Whatnot. It's an app on your phone. Uh, you can follow me, uh, Matrix Gabe, on there. So that's that's I've been dealing with that stuff too. So I've never had time to read them, trying to get rid of stuff. Do you have a reserve? Do have a reserve? I don't think there's reserves on there. I'm not exactly sure how exactly it works as a seller. My application hasn't gone through yet for me to kind of fool around the application side of things or the seller side of things. But it's neat because as a seller, you can just post stuff. Because usually like on these like Instagram live sales, you kind of don't know what's coming up next. You just kind of watch and go, all right, that's kind of boring. That's boring. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. But here you can actually make a list and you can watch and you can look at that person's list and say, okay, uh, after three more books, comes that Spider-Man number one's uh, Todd McFarlane I want or stuff like that. So you kind of get to make a list and have things on there. There's bids, there's buy it now that you can do uh, and things like that. So it, it's, it's pretty fun and cool. So I'll, I'm, I'm going to be having some fun on there and see what I can do on it. Awesome. Uh, All right, yeah. But, uh, uh, I, I got a piece out. So I will see you guys my battery. My battery on my phone is about to die. So. All right. Don't worry. Uh, Later here, man. Put your hashtag uh, IST gift card in this so you can enter in. <laughs> <laughs> Later, guys. All right. Take care, Matt. But yeah. you, then there were three. Then there was three. The IST jingle, that's a Jess trademark. That's an Omnidog exclusive thing. Yeah, so, it's all Jess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing a jingle or a rap or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, previews. Let's take a look at previews this week. Let's do it. I was flipping through it real fast, but there's only one thing on here that really matters, Geo, and we'll be getting to that soon. Well, there's two, but we'll see. one is not as hot as the other. We'll get to it. <laughs> Post hardcore Omnidog. The jingle doesn't have to be my exclusive, guys. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> it should. It is because I don't want to do the jingle. It's fine. I'm just having fun with the normal kind of ad stuff involved. All right, let's take a look. Uh, Image Comics this week. Uh, we got a trade paperback from good old Shaky Kane called Kane and Abel. Mm -hmm. Cover looks pretty cool. Uh, I like Shaky Kane's stuff. He's a really crazy uh, indie artist. Uh, and then we got Outcast, volume four, hardcover. Wow. I still haven't read a single issue of this. Book. I didn't know that was coming out. I forgot yeah. about that book. Yes. Same. I didn't know it was still going. 
Doop, doop, doop. Uh, Dark Horse Comics, we have uh, everyone is Tulip. Interesting. Uh, IDW, uh, Chiba Yusagi. Oh, that's really cool. I, I got I to gotta pop this open real fast. That looks awesome. Chiba Look at that. Yeah, Aww. that's great. <laughs> Aw. Is that done by Stan Sakai, too? Yep. It's his yep. wife. I think it's his that wife's wife. art. Yeah. Yep. That that's is really a wholesome cool. book right there. Is the regular Usagi not wholesome? Yeah, it's a little bit more, I don't know, darker, I guess, because oh, okay. he's fighting other people. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, no one cares. No, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Fells 5 trade paperback. Yep. Uh, we got the Jack Kirby Fantastic Four Artist Edition. That's a good uh, one. A, that's a good one. I have the original Artist Edition of this, the hardcover one. Uh, this is the later stuff. Uh, so what's interesting about this is if you're a Jack Kirby fan, this is the later stuff. This is uh, annual number six, um, which I think is the uh, is I think that's the Franklin Richards uh, nihilist issue. Uh, 70, 70, uh, 70, 82, 83, 84. So this is all towards the end, the last kind of quarter of his uh, Fantastic Four run. And what's interesting with the Jack Kirby art in this is uh, he was doing it on smaller paper as opposed to when he was doing it twice up, the twice up mm. size for the early Silver Age. Uh, and he was kind of, I guess, like checking out a little bit because this is about the time he was still having some issues with Marvel and Stan. Uh, so in order for him to get the pages done faster, he would just do really big like quarter panels. So it'd be like four pages or four panels on a page. So yeah. he did it kind of quicker uh, but it's beautiful because it's extra large, like panels and stuff like that coming from from Kirby. So, uh, really, really cool stuff there. I think I did a video on it on my YouTube channel, so you can go there and uh, take a closer look at that too. And Geo, it's here. Here we go. Sonic the Hedgehog, the IDW collection, hardcover volume one. This That's is awesome. such a fun series. I'm enjoying every minute of this series. I have the trade paperbacks. I'm definitely going to upgrade to the hard uh, the hardcover, and probably give the uh, either sell the trades uh, on whatnot, or maybe I'll give them to like you know uh, someone's kid at work or, or something. But this is really fun stuff. It looks like he's smelling his finger, um, <laughs> but this is good, wholesome, fun. If you if you if you like Sonic the Hedgehog, the video game. Or if you remember Sonic the Hedgehog, the original uh, cartoons from back in the day. Uh, this is all really great, uh, interesting stuff. Uh, Ian Flynn does great work on here as the writer. A uh, bunch of different artists. The art style changes up a little bit, but not so much that you take a big shocker to anybody. Yeah. Uh, but this is great. And what is it? 60 bucks. Can't go wrong. I think this is the first 12 issues. Is it the first 12? I was just going to ask. <laughs> It doesn't even show on the solicits. I want to say it's the first 12. It should be. Let me check on uh, listing. Hold on. Um, it's a generic solicit. Over, uh, oversized hardcover editions of the celebrated Sonic the Hedgehog comics, including the ongoing series, annuals, and miniseries, all presented first, in recommended reading order. Uh, it says here, collects the first 12 issues from volumes 1 to uh, 3 including the storylines Fallout, The Fate of Dr. Eggman, and Battle for Angel Island. Yeah. That's really good because uh, Dr. Eggman, the, the, you know, if you ever played a video game, he's like the main bad guy on it that you see in every level. Uh, for some reason, he's a good guy for some reason, but nobody trusts him. But, yeah, it's really fun. So, And they just listed a volume two that has Tails on the cover. Oh, my God. I love Tails. Yeah, I I'm sold already. Yeah, all your favorite <laughs> characters in here. Tails is in here. Knuckles in here. All, all the gang. So yeah, this is fun stuff. Yep. All right, uh, and that's it for previews, everybody. No. Uh, <laughs> and then we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Urban Legends Tree Paperback Volume Two. Nice. Uh, Marvel this week: Avengers by Jason Aaron, uh, Volume Eight, uh, King and Black, which is really cool. Uh, they just wrapped up that series not too long ago, leading up to mm -hmm. the end of Venom, like Lou was just talking about. Uh, Modoc Head Games, trade paperback. Reign of X, trade paperback volume one. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is part of the new X-Men line. There's just so many X-Men books going on. Yeah. Here. It's crazy. 
similar There's to literally what they like were close doing. to 30. Also, this is all the sword, X Men, X Factor. Oh, yeah. Similar to what they were doing with the uh, Rain of, uh, no, what's the other? X Dawn, of X. Dawn of X, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And a, a reprint of all things the Age of Apocalypse Companion. I think that's a new cover, right? That this is a new cover here. This uh, this one here that's the cover for I believe that's the cover for X Men Prime or X X Universe for it. And then this is the original cover that was on it before. So that's kind of cool. Nice. These reprints are coming out, and they just keep adding new covers to them. So very interesting. <laughs> Uh, Boom Studios, Mega Man fully charged. Trade paperback. Oh, so here's another one that you got to get, Gio. I love Mega Man. I love Sonic. Um, I don't love entirely that new design. It kind of creeps me out a little bit, but <laughs> it's still Mega Man, so I'm 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 interested. Yeah. And then uh, let's take a look at some of the stuff down here. Uh, we, uh, we got movies to start yeah. off with here: After School Bitchcraft. Yep. Yep. Although, if I may, Ascendance of a Bookworm is one of the best isekai titles that you will ever read, and I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites. It's a wholesome, uh, beautiful story. I cannot recommend it enough. But we're going to go over the solicitations on Thursday for all the stuff that's coming out in July, if anybody's uh, wondering. Let's see what else is in here. There's always some fun stuff down here for us to take a look at. Yeah. Lots of manga. <laughs> Lots of manga, as as per usual in this area. But that's that's kind of what we're skimming for is the good stuff to pu to pull out of all the fun manga stuff. I've been killing slime. I've been killing slimes, slimes 300 for years. 300 years and maxed out my level. I did a review in volume one. If you want to check it out on my channel, it's another great uh, funny uh, isekai. I, I enjoy that. Drop and blip. Can you hear a penguin fart on Mars? <laughs> what? That's what oh, it that's says. The cover? Oh, that's I on, didn't that's know that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear a penguin fart on Mars? <laughs> it's not the sound that you have to worry about. It. It's the smell. Machine girl. Oh, look at that. Machine girl. What? What? And you guys complain about manga. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Real Tutor, Sacrificial, Strawberry, Sword Art. Yo, Quack, thank you for joining. If anybody's wondering, uh, you are still in the running for the gift card. You can type uh, hashtag IST gift card in the comment section, and uh, you'll be in the running. We'll pick a winner uh, in a few minutes. How about his uh, Xventure Explorers Fish, Fish of Fury. Fury? Dun, dun, dun. Youth, romantic, yeah, and that's that. All right, so uh, it's a nice kind of budget, easy week. Mm -hmm. uh, just got to get that Sonic the Hedgehog book, and maybe uh, King of Black. That's 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 probably gonna be on my list this week. Let me share my screen for the Lunar, for the DC stuff. Let's see what DC's got for us this week. DC, don't fail me. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. So we finally get another deluxe edition. Uh, it's been a while, but here we have Batman by John Ridley, the deluxe edition. This contains uh, Feature State, the next Batman, the four issues, stories from Batman Black and White, number one, Batman the Joker War Zone, number one, and a brand new story from Ridley. Uh, so there you go for that price over there. So it's a deluxe edition, should be oversized. No, a lot of people like that. Yeah, well, where's my next volume of Tom King's Batman? Look at the font on that cover. It's like that the, the Arthur's author's name is as big as Batman. What up, Harley Quinn? Look at that. It oh, really yeah. makes you know that was John Ridley. I thought that, I thought that Batman was named John Ridley. If if you don't know about creators, you would think, oh, Batman John Ridley. Okay, yeah. that's his new name. Cool. That's what I thought. Um, another book that's coming out is Batman White Knight Presents Harley Quinn. Hardcover, this will be standard size. Uh, this collects uh, Batman White Knight Presents Harley Quinn 1 through 6 and a story from Harley Quinn Black, White, and Red Digital uh, Chapter 6. Oh, look, a Batman book coming out of Black Label. Interesting. Yep. 
Uh, here we have uh, Flash by Mark Wade. I know a lot of people are excited for this. I believe this is the last trade for that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this collects Flash issues 151 to 162, Flash Annual number 12, and pages from the Flash Secret Files number two. So this is a trade paperback. I like that Flash outfit, the, 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 the red and silver. That's really cool looking. Yeah. Uh, but I also like red and blue Superman. So, Speaking of Superman, uh, here is Future State Superman. Uh, with a really gnarly cover. I like the John Carter from Mars, whatever thing is happening here. Um, collects Future State Superman of Metropolis 1 and 2, Future State Superman, Worlds of War 1 and 2, Superman versus Imperius Lex 1 through 3, Future State Kara Zor-El, Superwoman 1 through 2, Future State Legion of Superheroes 1 and 2, and Future State Superman House of L number 1. And yesterday, Jess showed up some of showed us some of the uh, trades, and they're pretty thick because they use the matted paper, and uh, they're thick boys. If you like thick trades, you're in for a treat uh, with this stuff. Uh, a bunch of issues for Green Arrow. I don't know what's up a future state, but man, they really pumped that out, and then pumped out deluxes and trade paperbacks for it already. Yep. This is for uh, younger kids. Uh, this is a YA novel on Johnny Constantine, everybody. Ooh. The Mystery of the Meanest Teacher. I like that he has a lollipop instead of a cigarette. Uh, should be cigarette. like candy cigarettes from the uh, ice cream man. Yeah. Uh, so this is a young adult uh, book and joined by a friendly demon named Etrigan. I'm sold. Um so yeah, if you're a uh, Constantine fan, uh, you might want to get it just to say that you have the book for the hell of it. Uh, but who knows? It could be fun. I've never read it, so I don't know. I can only imagine some little, somebody getting this for their kid. It's like an all ages book. And they go, oh, wow, I really like Johnny Constantine. I wonder what else out there I could read for him. And it's all kind of like demon sex and you know, possession. Drugs and, 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 and rock bands. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that, and this, of course, is for our boy Riley because he's a huge fan of Space Jam. There's a comic book coming out based on the movie. Um, and this thing, uh, Suicide Squad Casualties of War, the uh, Keith Giffen run, collecting all 12 issues from back in uh, early odds. So more Suicide Squad content. Um, I don't... I don't think this was previously collected, right? In trades? Or I, don't, I haven't seen anything about the, the, the Keith Giffen Suicide Squad ever being collected before that I could think of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I figured with the movie, they're going to start um, putting more stuff out there for Suicide Squad. So there's that. And that's it. That's all the DC stuff. I know a lot of people are going to be picking up the uh not the batman because I, I i'm reading the chat and people are saying it's a lame book but whatever uh, you can get uh harley quinn with great artwork from sean murphy get sonic the hedgehog get sonic get mega man there you go i'm excited to see 20 minutes of d animation in space jam space jam i don't know all, all right. right so, so Last chance for everybody in the chat. 123 people. We should definitely have like 165 entries. Uh, we hashtag, have how many? 80, 87 entries. 87. Let's entries. see if we can get to 90 before we pick the winner. 87 entries. So uh, remember, uh, hashtag IFT gift card to get into in for your chance to get $50 credit. At the From one who? only instocktrades.com. That's right. The number one spot for all of our collected editions, omnibuses, hardcovers, trade paperbacks, absolutes. Uh, that's our number one spot to go to for buying all of our collected edition needs. They got the best shipping, the best packaging. That packaging and kind of stuff you keep so that when you ever you need to sell something or you need to ship something out to a friend. You got some great packing. You don't have to worry about going out to find some kind of newspaper stand and you put in enough to buy one newspaper and you take all the newspapers. You don't need to do that because you got great packing from IST. Uh, excellent customer service. 
the best pricing, 100% the best pricing out there in StockTrades.com. And a big special thank you to them for sponsoring this show and for today's gift card giveaway. That we have 90, 89 entries for. So we're almost there. We got one more person that wants a $50 gift card. I mean, more can enter, but we're running out of time. We're not going to be here all night. It's, so if we can get to 90, that'd be really badass. All right. So uh, let's just go ahead and let's, that's it. We're done. Forget it. We're done. All 89 right. it is. Nice, even number with 89. <laughs> all right. So. We're gonna. I'm gonna hit draw. Oh, there's ninety. Go. Oh, we got to ninety. All right. Thank you. Just so ninety time. entries. I'm gonna hit draw, and it's gonna go through all the ninety entries and pick out a winner. The winner has to send uh, your info to our email, which we'll reveal in a second. So good luck, everybody. Let's do this, and uh, let's draw the winner. Dun 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 dun. Not that guy. Dun. <laughs> oh boy uh oh slowing down it is going to be oh, oh. Nelson. <laughs> Nelson. awesome that's a little... good job sir congratulations so yeah nelson send us a email at omni bros dot or i'm sorry uh, omni bros live at gmail dot com right there and we'll get with your ist uh account like your email just yeah, your email. Right, right, Don't send right. your password or anything weird like that. <laughs> Just the email on your IST account, and yep. we'll send that over to IST. And then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, yeah $50 Nelson, in uh, your account. Also, uh, Nelson, uh, it takes a little while because uh, they're super busy, but hang in there. I'm going to hook you up. We're going to send that info, and it takes a little bit uh, to get that patched and ready to go, but you got it, man. Thank you uh, for participating tonight. And uh, yeah, it's really awesome to see everybody congratulating uh, Nelson. So good job, everybody. Good. Oh. Thank you, everybody, for entering in. Uh, better luck next time. Uh, we do this every month. It's always the last, the last Monday of every month we uh, we do this gift card giveaway. So join us every week. As of uh, of course, we do what sixteen shows a week or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, something crazy. Uh, but definitely don't miss out on the last Monday show where you can get yourself a free $50 credit at Instant Oh, Trade. JP, com. you were so really close. close. <laughs> You're almost there, but I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. Yeah, there, there you go. go, man. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, if you're international, you get the $50. We still got to pay for shipping and just the shipping out there, too. So that works. Or you'd be like Geo, where it's just you got to wait for, like, for them to load up a pallet and then they ship it out. <laughs> I know. Is that how to do it for you, Gio? They got to wait for like a pallet to get loaded. Uh, well, IST, if I make an order, uh, they put the label, they send the package, and it uh, moves to I don't know where, and then to Jacksonville. And in Jacksonville, Florida, they because it's media mail, they load that up onto the cargo ships, I guess. And if the pallet is empty with just a couple items, that stuff doesn't go into the boat, I guess. And I have to wait until it fills up and then they load that stuff in there and they ship it out. So, so that's why sometimes I'll buy the thing and it'll be like five days or six days and then I'll get a notification that it moved and started shipping. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. All right, so super cool. All right, so that was a great show, man. Awesome. Thanks for everybody for showing up. Uh, remember, thumbs up. Uh, everybody that's here, uh, if you're watching this on the Rewind, leave us a comment. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to us before. Uh, peace and love, peace and love from Ringo. Uh, Gio, where can people find you at, bro? You can find me on... Also, by the way, before I do, uh, yeah. Matt, thank you for being on tonight. Oh, that was really yeah. awesome. Thank you for yeah. helping us out. <laughs> thank you guys for the invite. I'm happy to, yeah. you know, anytime yeah. you need me. It's an open invitation. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Appreciate it. Appreciate you're always it. welcome. Uh, and, and Matt is a mod in the chat. Not like we ever need it because everybody's pretty cool, uh, but he's a mod uh, since day one. So that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. Yeah. You get our seal of approval. Oh. <laughs> I added that yesterday. <laughs> Warranty void if seal is broken. 
But yeah, you can find me on my channel of Weekend Geekdom where I talk about anime, comics, and manga. Now, here's the thing. If you want, tomorrow I'm going to be making a super cool stream if you want to join because I actually got some cool items that I want to highlight in that stream. I know it's kind of clickbaity. I'm sorry, but they're really nice. A uh, couple collectibles. Uh, I'm not going to show them off today because then nobody's going to care about my stream. So tomorrow, uh, look forward uh, for that stream late at night, and we're going to chill out, talk some anime and manga, and uh, unbox some goodies. So yeah, a week in Geekdom. Subscribe if you can. Help me out and see if we can get to uh, 3K before the end of the year. Oh, yeah. All right. And uh, you guys can find me, Gabe Loves 90s Comics, on Instagram. And like I was saying earlier, whatnot uh, for sales, for comic books, Omnis, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, Matrix Gabe on whatnot. Heck Matt, yeah. where can people find you, buddy? Uh, you want anything that people no, might want no, to No, not really. You, you'll see me occasionally commenting on the Facebook group or <laughs> the, the sister's yeah. pages. But yeah, yeah go, go, uh, go check out the uh, Omnibus uh facebook group uh that riley started it's not related to this channel sometimes people like to think that like oh you guys manage that <laughs> no no we don't <laughs> um so if you're in that group uh look for matt and all the other wonderful people there all right cool all right, all right. good one last time everybody thanks again enjoy that gift card nielsen uh congratulations on that uh and we'll see everybody thursday thursday Thursday? Thursday is manga show. Yeah, when is this damn to... show on? I don't even know. What, what, when do we do shows? <laughs> it's going to be on. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I've right. got a couple guests. It's going to be fun. See you then.